shit. Shit. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. This is the Nomad Challenge, and we only have three more places to stay. The Lonely Lighthouse, Stone Church, and Crumbling Highway. So we are headed to the Crumbling Highway. Currently, we're in the gas station, and I will say I actually searched the entire town, every single cabin and house, and I found no sewing kits, and I found no sharpening stones. Oh, well, I mean, I went ahead and ditched some of my clothing, because I was just overweight and this world just seems or this version of or this I'm sorry this challenge seems a little less challenging so we've got feels like 13 degrees celsius at air temperature negative three I'm hoping that how I've set this up right now will be perfect and won't be a problem so I've swapped out some clothing options um, I've reduced my weight that I'm carrying and we do have some food to eat before we go I've got some meat so I've got all this backup food in here Let's just take a look. Every time it, you start the game for the first time, getting into anything is kind of slow. Okay, I thought I had backup meat. Oh, I already ate it. That's right. Okay, so I've got some fish to eat before we go. We're at 25 pounds. Um, I grabbed most of the higher calorie foods already. So if we're looking at just food, I've got dog food, pineapple, the pork and beans, and peanut butter. And those are the primary uh, high calorie foods. So that's what I'm going to take with me. I'm going to go ahead and take a few sodas just because I have the space. And let's see. Peaches. I left behind some of these banged up peaches, but I'm going to take one more. And we're going to have a tea before we leave. So I grabbed one of the teas that were in here, and I think on water we're okay. So let's start up a quick fire. And then we're going to hit the road. So we'll just grab all this wood. I'm going to grab... One of these, one of these, let's see, might as well take these, I'll take these, no, see, I'm already getting up in weight, but I grabbed all that wood, so we should be okay, I'll swap it out. All right, let's start up a quick fire. I have a ton of accelerant, there's three, but I'm pretty sure if I look, I know I was going to start the fire, but <laughs> let me just grab all that wood. Sure I, can carry much more. I know, quiet, you, don't matter, we're just going to leave some of it behind. I could have sworn in one of these drawers I had a whole bunch of accelerant. I need to also check and see what my lantern fuel is at. And I'm going to take these. Oh, we got this wood. Let's use that. Oh, did I leave my sleeping bag? Ah! Ah, I thought I was... Oh. Don't. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. I'm going to weigh myself down again. Alright, so that's 100%. I think I grabbed the one with the least fuel in it. Let's grab the one with the most fuel in it. And I'm not bothering with any of this other stuff because I've got so many flares. I don't need the torch. All right, let's light up. I could have swore that I had an accelerant. I'm going to go ahead and use it to make this faster. And a book. And some matches. Actually, I don't even think I need it. Look at that. Let's do it. So we're going to start a quick fire. We're going to heat up that tea and drink it. We're going to eat the meat. And we're going to hit the road. And... I think we're clear. I think we're clear. Hold on a second. I don't see any wolves. <gasps> we're clear. Let's go. Run, run. Shit. I spoke too soon. Fuck off, bear. Or wolf. I call him a bear. I'm out of here. I don't see him. I don't know where he is. I think I, yeah, I went to that house up there too. I mean, I cleaned out every single house. There was not a single sewing kit in the whole freaking town, which is unusual because usually there's a ton of them. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, I thought there were two. Okay, so there's just one. Yeah, screw you. I'm out of here. We're going to stop through those houses over there on that little peninsula and then head over to the uh, between point, the uh, old island connector. Where the basement is. Is he going to leave me alone? Yeah. He left. Alright, awesome. Let's get there. And fingers crossed we don't run into any bears. or I don't see any wolves out on the water. I could bypass this little section. I'm going to stay here. It's probably colder out there. 
That's another test I'm kind of doing is, uh, see, I'm, I'm still got that warm buff from drinking the tea, and it's not a bad day. It feels like zero degrees, and I've got enough layers on to protect from that, so we're good. Another pretty day in the game. Another pretty day in Canada. It's pretty if you don't have to feel the cold. Oh, let's grab some sticks. Just grab a few. Alright, so one of the houses is burnt down. Let's go see what the other one looks like. I've got some run on me, so might as well use it a little bit. There might be wolves down here is the only bummer. There can sometimes be wolves, but I've got a flare on me, so running is probably a good thing, because then I can use my flare. Go, 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 go. I hear I hear birds, so we got a corpse over here. Alright, let's see what we got. So we got one burnt down house. Sometimes we'll get a bear through here too, I think. There's one full house. So we got at least one house to go to. Is there two? Yes, there's two. So let's check these out. I just want to find a sewing kit, to be honest. That's all I care about is a sewing kit. What? We got some mushrooms over here, but I don't care. I got a mushroom tea. I'm good. There's going to be a body over there somewhere because the birds, yep, there's a body over there. All right, let's head in here and see what we've got. We're just going to do a quick search through. I'm not going to take much. The only thing I'm really looking for is I hate the way it wobbles when I come in the door. Why? Why did it do that? I don't care about clothes. I don't care about firewood. I just want a sewing kit. That's all That's I care about. Handy. We'll leave that behind. So if I can find a sewing kit, finding clothes to tear apart is the easy part. Find a sewing kit, however, does not appear to be. I'm going to go ahead and check through the food. I'll probably leave most of it behind. Did I leave my tea behind on accident? I'm going to take that soda. I don't care about the matches. I got plenty. Though they don't weigh much. Let's see. So I'm just going to do a quick run through. I probably didn't even really need to go through the kitchen. I'm just looking for a sewing kit, so be a lot faster if I didn't go through the kitchen because they're not going to have a sewing kit in the kitchen. What do we got here? Sewing kit! Yeah! Okay, so I got my sewing kit and I've left all that material behind so I'm going to need to grab some, but I don't really... How much do I care? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I'm over encumbered already. Bah, because that basement is not going to have a lot of material. I'll grab that hat. Let's go in the bedroom. I just want to repair my clothes. I think what I'm going to do is clean out this house and clean out the other one. And then I'm going to pause to tear down all the clothes and go ahead and repair my clothes. So I'm going to stay overnight in one of these cabins before we head out again. So I will pause here. Well, let me clear this out. I'm going to pause when I get to the other house. And I'll stay a night and clean up, you know, just repair the clothes I have. Clean out my inventory again, just get everything resituated, and then we'll hit the road again. But because I found that item I've been looking everywhere for, I'm going to take your curtains. Don't really care about that. Take that. Let's go ahead and drop our flare here. No... I meant to <laughs> drop the flare. No. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to tear all this stuff down. I forgot I could I can get material from this stuff. We got a 10-hour day. Can I tear apart the floor thing? I can get this curtain. All right, there we go. So let's head over to the other house. Hopefully there's no wolves or bears out here. I don't even have a flare equipped. I'll just run right back in again. Oh shit. Oh shit. Whew. That was a bear. That was a bear. We're stuck in here. Maybe I have enough material. Let's let me try and repair here. There's gonna be in that pillow I'll find some material. I think we'll stay a little time here. <laughs> 
Okay, so I am going to go ahead and pause here and stay the night and then we'll pick up in the morning after I've finished repairing everything and I've uh, packed up, you know, fixed my packs, resorted everything and then we'll hit the road again. I don't want to waste too much of today's episode on sitting in this cabin. So we will be back. Perfect. Okay, welcome back. I have finished cleaning out both of these houses and repairing my clothes and we've got five hours of daylight left and there's a bear over there. So we're out of here. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're going to get on the road and get to the next spot. Shit. 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 Oh my god. Oh shit. Ah! Oh, that would suck if we die right here. No! Oh, bear. Get lost, bear. Oh, we can't even fight in this version. So when you get attacked by a bear, you can't, like, fight back. All right, are we going to die? Is he going to kill us? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. We're going to go get in that house quick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, get the flare. Run like hell. Oh my god, get- Shit! He's after me again! Get in the house, get in the house! Get in the house! Oh! Yes! Okay. Woo! Gotta stop that blood loss. Alright, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh my gosh. Oh! Okay. Am I better? Wait. Let's check out. Alright, five hours left. What's my health? My health? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Whew. That was crazy. Oh my gosh, he trashed my clothes. I just repaired them. <laughs> and I don't have another sewing kit. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wait and let him move on. I'm glad we survived through that. So that's awesome. I, I made it through my first bear attack. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna sleep in this location. We'll stay another day, let that bear move on, and then head out of here. So yeah, be right back. Okay, it's the next day. I hear something moving around. It's gonna be a wolf or something, watch it. Just don't be a bear. No bears. I've had it with bears. I hear something. But I don't hear any birds. Now I'm all paranoid. I'm like super cautious now. I think that's a probably wolves moving around. Okay. I'm afraid. <laughs> Well, there's my blood. I don't hear a bear. Let's go. Let's make a run for it. I'm totally paranoid now. But I think we're okay. There's a car. Let's go see what's in the car. Well, that was an exciting adventure. There's nothing in the car. Lights are nothing in the car. What gets me is I hear the crunch of snow. Like something's walking around. But I don't see anything. Oh, I bet you that's a deer or something. But at least we're next to the car if it's a bear. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I just don't like that sound. Alright, we've made it halfway through. So we've met, we've, uh, leaving Coastal Highway, heading to the next area. We're going to go stay in the next spot. Oh my gosh. That was crazy, though. I'm just so glad we survived. We're healing up. Um... 77% condition, which is higher than what we were at, which was in the 20s. So I think we're going to be okay.
I know there can be wolves in this area, if I remember correctly. And yes, I passed up a plant back there. I just don't... I'm not harvesting them anymore because we're just moving on pretty quick. And I've got plenty of medicine on me. All right. So if I remember correctly, the place we want to stay next is the head on the left. Just no bears. No bears. I can handle wolves, but apparently I can't handle bears. <laughs> Though I guess we did handle it. We lived through it. So technically we're, we're, we're handling it. <laughs> Not really. I just stood there and took it, or laid there and took it, depending on how you look at it. So, yeah. Okay, so we're at the next location, and we lived through... I lived through my first bear attack. Can't believe it. That was crazy. I'm going to grab all this cloth just in case there's a repair kit somewhere along here. I'm hopeful. Um, at this location, you can't have a fire inside. So if I want a fire, I'll have to do it on the outside. I'll take that flare because I used that one earlier. I want to test and see if it, I could run off the bear with the flare. But apparently, that bear gives about two shits about that flare. <laughs> And another flare. Hey. You know, the game's just, at this point, rubbing it in our face that we couldn't find flares earlier. Ooh, what you got? So we'll just clean out this area here, see what we can find. I'm going to grab this crowbar just because I can compare it to the one I have right now. Hey, we got some uh, benches and stuff we could tear down if we need firewood. Because I did not bring any because it just weighs. There's always usually, there's usually something to tear down. Not always, but there's usually something to tear down when you get there. I'm not going to bother with the crow feathers. Oh, backpack. Hey. Food. All right. So sometimes there's huts on the other side of these mountains here. We're going to want to pick up some sticks because I dropped them earlier to save space or save weight. I saw one. There it is. I know damn well I was not imagining that stick. All right, we got to be careful here because here's where wolves, wolves can shit. Ah, wildlife is against me today. Get out of here. Damn. Let's go. I go. My health is. Ah, I'm gonna have to take a little time in here to rest because I keep getting beat up, and my health isn't fully recovered from the last beat up. So let's. Uh. Oh, no first aid needed. That's good. He was the only one to get hurt. We got some wood in here in case we need it. Let's see if we've got any sewing kits or... Hmm. We got food. Okay. I'm hoping for a wet stone or sewing kit. Because that's... Eh, I'll take the hatchet just so I can compare. I don't need the hacksaw, but I'll take it for now. Uh, I don't need the leather. I'll leave that. Though I guess I could probably repair my shoes. Let's take a look at what our shoe condition is. Uh, yeah, we'll take that leather because I could repair my shoes if I have enough leather. There's going to be clothes in the washer dryer. That's a given. First aid kit. Got some antibiotics. Some lantern fuel. A flare again. <laughs> now it's teasing me with flares and no, uh, no sewing kits. A jerry can for our lantern so I can give you guys some light as we record. Man. All right, well, this is probably going to be a brief episode. We've still got a few places to stay. This is one of them. So this is the Crumbling Highway Basement. So we're going to stay here for three days. Then we're going to move on to the Stone Church and then the Lonely Lighthouse, and we will be done. So this is it for today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and get the next one started recording so we can get this series over quicker. Please do comment down below. Leave a like. Helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.